All of that rain affected today's lineup at Jazz Fest. The gates had to delay opening because of those storms and Erica Ferrando was there as the sun came out and festival goers got into the swing of things. If it's going to pour and the ground is going to get muddy, you might as well dance in the rain. And there was plenty of that at Jazz Fest Saturday. That's what Jazz Fest is all about. Just ask Stephanie Bernstein Pratt, who lives in New Orleans. This is a Jazz Fest tradition. Absolutely. You can see I got my rain boots on. I got my poncho. I'm ready to go. It's all good. Weather delayed gates from opening by an hour 15 Saturday and throughout the day, several downpours passed over the fairgrounds. You know what? This is what helps. <laughs> it's lemonade, you guys. Lemonade. <laughs> Whether it's lemonade or not, Paula Cooper from Denver certainly didn't let the rain dampen her fun. Oh, we're having a blast. They still seem to be having fun. This rain is stopping nothing. Sandra Davison from North Carolina planted her chair in front of Congo Square and rode out the storms to catch Erica Falls. Yes, in the rain with my poncho umbrella. I'm wet. The rain gear didn't help much, but it's all part of her first Jazz Fest experience. Muddy shoes, um, soaked socks, <laughs> wet pants. And these festers will tell you the rain isn't all bad. It's not as hot, plus the crowds aren't quite as thick. A little windy, but we got the umbrella hat, so we're good. We love the rain. We love it. There's some people in, like, bikini tops, and they're having a great old time without any poncho or anything. The people, the heritage, everything about Jazz Jazz Fest is unbelievable. Thank you, City of New Orleans, for giving us this experience. Incredible. While the dark clouds lingered for most of the day, the sun did start to come out for the final few hours of Jazz Fest this Saturday, and that's when we saw the crowds really start to get thick as Dead & Company took the festival stage. Today has been amazing. We came here to see Dead & Company. I've been seeing Dead the dead in some form for 50 years. A drier, crowded end to wrap up this second to last day of Jazz Fest this year. From the fairgrounds, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.